All right, let's do some more fun stuff into this episode. We are going to do a lot of stuff. For example, how about this? I'm not quite sure if this is too much, but I just wanted to give you guys a good progress at the start of the episode. So in here, right, like I've been explaining, I would like to have a few couple of chests. It will probably be three onto each other since the last chest needs to be open in empty space. Down here will be workbenches, whatever will be put down there, and then chest, chest, workbench, chest, or in this case, this might be ovens, and, you know, ovens here, so one will be for the stone and oven, so we can make like normal stone, smooth stone, that kind of stuff. Down here it might be for the iron, gold, copper, that kind of stuff. And what I would like to do right down here is make a hole, at least, going down into the mine. So there will be one hole here of two white, going deep into the mines. And I just have to see, maybe when I'm done digging out the whole stuff down there, I'm going to go into this side, dig it all the way down into the mines. Of course, on both sides will be chest for whatever random stuff used to be in there and I'm not sure just yet what I want to do down here and of course gonna go a lot deeper until we reach the other side of the mountain I'm quite here now I'm not sure just yet how far I am maybe at the half maybe not because I've also noticed on the other side of the mountain there is a lot more space to be seen so yeah if you take a look just let me just do this. Game mode creative. You know, just a little light there. Set the game. Ah, oh, there we go. So, my guess is that I'm kinda. I'm kinda right down here. That's my guess. Now, as you can see, this mountain doesn't go flat immediately. There is like a, a piece still onto it so i'm not on the half if it's about the whole progress but at least the half at this mountain part and then i need to come out here somewhere it's gonna take a little while but it's fine we at least have a uh, very good start here and from this starting point i can start going you know deep into search for diamonds because that will help me a lot digging quicker and of course, meanwhile, I can smelt all kinds of stuff and, you know, grow stuff. Because at some point I'm going to have a little bit of a tree farm, you know, just for, just for right down here. Collect as much as trees as possible or locks, better to say. Because later on, there needs to be a huge village down here. And this village will probably end up using more trees than I possibly can. Locks, whatever. I'm going to put it back on survival. Alright, because then I'm going to cheat on that. But the thing that I'm going to need to do right now is just get a ton of chests. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this kind of together. Alright, I'm just going to do that. And then I can just do this. Not sure maybe if it's too much. 16 could do for now. There we go. Grab them all, 16. I mean, I say too much, but it's gonna be like that, right? There is already three chests, I got 10 left. All right, down here is gonna be the wood type of deal. So I need to keep that so the door can go open because if I do this, I cannot open it up for the people who doesn't know that. Now, of course I can go a little bit higher, but I don't want everything to look kind of, you know, even you know we have these pillars going up already we have some differences in the height we got only four left wow it's gonna go real quick so i'm going to need to have a lot more of these chests i guess splitting it up like that like that can give me some i'm not gonna make it with these last ones so we're just gonna put these ones back and what i also should be doing here is grab this one that one before I'm going to put this one, you know, at the spot, I'm also going to need to have a couple. You know what? I really mean a few couple furnitures. This might be way too much, though. 
I don't want to have 46 of these things, but you know, at least I know I'm running out. So we're going to need to have two for stone, two for whatever, and anything else actually, you know, like I said, it's too much anyways. Mm -hmm. I got two workbenches, so it will be enough for now, because it's not like you can get a progress bottom workbenches. Uh, let me see how far we can get with this. Please stand there, beautiful. Something up on top. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I could actually you know, make it look like this. Maybe for sticks. You know, sticks. And this one will be like a coal or whatever. Put it down in there. And this is gonna be for the stone stuff. Like that, beautiful. Then, did I set stone? I think I did. Uh, so down here is gonna be, let me just say iron, you know, never know. And like that. Kind of running out of chest again. So the progression overall is going quite well. Uh, anything else? I have no idea just yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that people wouldn't like me to do in real life. And that is cut down a ton of trees. And I would also like to figure out how and what with those bees. Because I'm going to need to keep those bees together. And I think I believe um, I'm going to need to have a rope. And I'm thinking of it. How am going to get rope? So here's a little bit of an update on the progress in this area and or I've been thinking. Now I said before I'm going to need to have ropes in order to catch those bees which I don't need at all. What I'm going to need in order to lure bees to a spot are flowers and with these flowers I can lure the bees to the spot and which I have a new project in mind which I am going to do next. So first of all I got everything here set up. It will be stone smelting and there will be some sand in there for glass smelting. Down here will be the iron, gold and whatever smelting. Down here there will be two workbenches which I can cut stones, so that's for this area. Here will be building supplies and whatever not. And down here I got some more storages to put whatever going to, need to be in here, for example dirt, that kind of stuff. I will dig it further when I have a moment. Now, for outside, like I said, I want to do something with bees. So first thing I am going to need to do, besides getting a lot of glass, just keep them open, is I'm in fly mode now, so I can show it you better. Um, I'm going to need to make fireplaces, or campfires, and I'm going to need to put these campfires underneath these beehives. So, as you can see, there is some honey leaking out, and in order to get this honey out of it, going to need to put some campfires there so the bees won't get angry when I touch it, right? Very simple. I got another place with bees right down here. I placed some flowers so these guys will stay there and or I found another spot right down here as you can see with some more bees. So what I want to do and I would like to, you know, I got a bit of OCD type of deal. I don't want to make a straight road going down here to a bridge. Right? So in order to break things up a bit, I need to make use of the area. Which I mean, I see a nice type of spot down here, which is kind of digged out. I will dig it out a little bit more. And I would like to make a dome. I want to make a glass dome. And within this glass dome, I want to put it full with flowers. I want to make some beehives because I'm going to need to have some wax. And those wax combined with some wood, I can make beehives. Then I need to load the bees in there, and then all the bees will be safe right down in this glass dome. Of course, we use a few couple other materials besides glass. Now, in order to get some glass, I already seen uh, right down here when I was flying. Uh, just a little over there, you can see there is a lot of sand. I might need to walk there and get a lot of sand, smelt it to glass and start making the bee area. There's some more bees out here. So there are enough bees and I need to lure a few couple of bees into the bee house and make them breed. 
But we have enough bees that we can make a lot of wax and honey. Which is very good. So also in order to get some rope, you know, for whatever, maybe horses. I think I can find rope if I'm lucky in chest. Or I need to make it. In order to make rope, I'm going to need to have strings. And strings I believe I can get from spider webs. But I'm also going to need to have some slime. And in order to get slime, I'm going to need to put the uh, peaceful mode to easy mode. I'm going to need to find some slimes within a mine. So making rope is not going to happen anytime soon. But when I can, I will, you know, turn the mob mode on just to get some slime. So the thing that is going to need to happen for right now, I'm going to get a little bit more trees out of the way. And then I will, you know, make a little bit of a start for where I want to have the bee house. I do have in mind this area will be like a little bit of um, a harbor area. So it will be a building where boats get made. Of course, we will have some docks. I don't know want to make some boats. It will be bridge there. It will be like a city type of wheel down here and, you know, further that way. I need to do things one by one, but so far I think I made some nice progress. I cut down a lot of trees. Need to get rid of a lot more of these trees. So the next project, gonna get some glass, gonna smelt the glass, and we're gonna fix like a nice little bee house down there. So before moving on to get some sand in order to smelt for glass, I actually wanted to get some more coal and maybe a bit of iron. So I went digging from my tunnel down there all the way up to this area, which is uh, layer number 10. So I also got digging in here to see if I can find some, you know, diamonds along the way with the coal and iron. And this is, you know, a little area here where I can dig out some more tunnels. And then I actually went here and I discovered something new. So I dig this stuff up and apparently this stuff here is Cobbled Deep Slate instead of, um, what is that stuff called? The, the, the lowest stone back in the day was something black. I just can't remember what it's called. Um, but apparently I went searching on the internet for diamonds and a lot of stuff had changed. They didn't only add it like these new type of caves, some new resources, but they also changed the way of diamonds. Now, back in the days, the bedrock, that is the word I was looking for, was on level zero, right? Apparently, to make it a little bit more difficult to get diamonds, so you need to use iron a lot more before you get diamonds, they added another 50 to 60 levels down below zero, and now diamonds can be found minus 53. You get a lot of new of these stones, which is actually very nice to have some new stones. I also know they have like some purple stuff and some other kind of things. So I am by far not at the diamond just yet. I just wanted to show it to you. Of course, we will do a little bit of caving exploration. I will just show you all the way around. One other thing is going to be very handy sooner or later is to make some farming farms just for now which i basically mean put some cows together with fences, sheep, and that kind of stuff because it's going to be very handy to have some picture frames onto these chests showing what item is inside because now sometimes i'm just trying to search whatever i need and i need to open a lot of chests oh yes look at all this sand ready to be used for glass now i am sh going to take a few couple of stacks and then it should be enough for now of course, at some point it might be handy to find actually a desert area for more sand. And I'm going to keep the recording rolling. So in case I make like a mistake because the ground can sometimes crash in. Then I will fall down to the middle of the earth. And that was my last shovel. I had eight with me. As you can see, I got a lot of sand. It didn't took that long actually. That is pretty easy uh, to gather. And yeah, I seen some stuff out here like this. Probably it's in a cave. And this is what I mean if I do this. Then everything will crash down. Alright, let's melt some glass in here. No, is that not how it works? I need to put it like that. 
I mean logic, fire underneath, and uh, the other resources above. Now, I am doing a lot of stuff with, you know, coal, you can say. I wish there was a button where I can put everything of the same kind in once in here. I was actually wondering, I kind of forget about this. If you can... Um, yeah, make coal-ish type of deal with this. Let's see what happens, because it will be handy to just burn a lot of this stuff when I need a lot of the um, fuel that I can make with it. Yeah, okay, so I can make some charcoal with that, which is going to be super duper nice. But the thing that I'm going to do now is just, um, you know, get a lot of glass, like a super ton of glass. I do have a website, Um I will try to remember to put the link up in the... Uh, description or in the comment section and then I will pin it uh, where you can make an exact circle around in an area like this okay so I was thinking meanwhile everything is just happening I can uh, actually lay out a circle so I got a circle which is 20 by 20 so from the middle point to the outer line is like 10 and like I said, I don't want to have things perfectly aimed out. I'm just going to take a look like this, and then I'm just going to... Uh, let me just say, put this one right down there. How about that? I need to dig out a little bit, but that is okay. I'm going to need to have dirt at some point. So this is one of the middle points, and then 10 that way will be the middle, right? So let me see. One, two... All right, I was wrong, it is 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the middle point will be here, then one here. No, I'm doing it, I'm doing it right. Okay, I was just uh, rechecking it. So then I'm going to need to go 12 that way, because uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 then this one down here I shouldn't forget that one with it is 12 on the other side this one 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 put one down and then also that way this is the size so now you need to imagine like a circle and I think this will be quite a size even though I think it needs to be bigger than that all right, so I was indeed wrong. It wasn't 20 by 20, but 25 by 25. And I just made the circle a lot bigger. So it's going to be 30 by 30. So it's from this point of on to the middle. It's like 17, and that will be 17, etc. So the thing that I would like to do right now, and I'm not quite sure how to do that. I'm going to need to make a few couple of campfires already in order to, you know, get some of this wax stuff wax and I got like a handbook down here and I would swear in this handbook maybe it should say campfire but how does that work all right I had to look it up I don't know why it's not showing into my crafting menu for some reason I don't see camp no it doesn't show up but apparently I do have certain resources for it and what I have to do here if I'm not wrong do this place one of the here one two three and then I have a campfire I don't know why it's not showing up though hmm. okay then I'm going to need to put this underneath one of the uh, B towers just like this and then they shouldn't be harm now if I'm not wrong no okay I'm going to need to have the tool, and I think, I'm not quite sure, I think I'm going to need to have a scissors for this. And the thing here is, I have done this in the past, like with this bee stuff. I've also been melting some ingots, as you can see. So, you know, maybe why it didn't show up, because I have to do this. No, it also doesn't show up for some reason. All right. For a scissors, if I'm not wrong, just gonna get something. Oh, I seen it. But this is what I'm going to need. Alright, so let's see. Yep, that is how we do it. 
So we got a uh, three. What is that? Honeycombs. All right, let me see. I think they were saying planks. So let me just put this all into planks. Then I think I needed to do this and then that. Yep, we got a beehive. So then I need to, you know, place these beehives, make this little house done. And then I can lure some bees into here. But I'm going to need to prepare some stuff. So we're going to build partly the bee house together. All right, there are a few couple more things that I actually have to do in order to, you know, get the building done. So first of all, I'm going to need to make like a stone grinder. I'm going to need to get some smooth stone. I guess I would like to make it out of smooth stone. So first things first, I need to get... I think maybe like that no but at least i'm going to have these uh couple bars though just gonna guess then how does this works again no <laughs> i think i first need to get I'm not even sure. Oh no, no, no. I need to do all of these, or which combination didn't happen? Oh, what was that? Yeah, I'm going to have this stuff. Nothing new there. Smoker. Mm. I was almost right. The thing that I'm going to need to do here is make normal stone first. So I'm just gonna. Get all of this stuff out of here and just put this in here. And I need at least three normal stone. And then from the normal stone, along with what I just did, at least one bar. So I'm going to need to make it like this from normal stone so I can get like a stone cutter. All right, three should do the trick. Yeah, okay, it showed it. So, like this, like that. Then I got this boy. I can place this boy right down here. And then, if I have something, should be able to get some choices like uh, bricks. I think I want to do a mixture of bricks. I wonder, is there like. Another level of stone. Just want to check it out. So this is done. That is done. Put this in here. It seems like there is another level of stone, which is, I believe, called smooth stone. I'm going to need that too. I'm going to need to do a lot of smelting. Okay, so let's grab this guy. Yeah, it shows a lot of more stuff that I'm going to need for this project. This is not well what do i want to do with this i think it basically works like um a cobblestone right so if i need yeah yeah slap if that is slap but then what was this smooth stone slap and slap you will get two from three and over here you get six from three am i missing something i mean this sounds more i mean this is partly that what i'm going to need right so now we are here i'm just going to show you the whole point so what i need to do here is i want to have like a, a piece of wall before putting the dome onto it and since this is going to be slash is the ground level of the street right i'm just replacing well let's do one higher to be sure in case i'm yeah yeah so oh, you need to imagine this is this is the street <laughs> then you can uh lock inside from this view that's this will be the only part where you can look inside from the field anything else you have to go via the door so what what i mean with this is the stone will be underneath the dirt the dirt is just for 
we point out where I need to build, right? So from the middle point of on, it's gonna be a bit tricky to build though without uh, flying, kinda. So I'm going to need to have one, two, three, four. And then the other side also, one, two, three, four. And this will also count for that one. I need to go up high. Why does that B seem to be lost though? Now what I'm going to do, I already had like one of these. Yo, brother. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Now the only thing I hope is that... Well, I got an idea though. If I need to move that thing up, I hope that he doesn't get pissed off. But like I said, I might have an idea. I'm not quite sure though. <laughs> like, sometimes I just... Fly away to the nothing. So yeah, we are busy with this. So on both sides, four by four. That is also on the website. You can set your own ring and see how big it needs to be. And then basically, I need to have on this side one, two, three, four. Or the side the same. Then from the four, it's gonna be one, two, three. Then it's gonna be a one, two. I need four more. One, two, three, four. Right. Then it's gonna need to be one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I need to have a lot more than this. Yeah, what am I doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm not doing anything wrong. One, two, three, four. Right? No, that's also not correct. The middle one is this one. One, two, three, four. Hmm? Then one, two, three, four. I see what is wrong. And a one, two, three. It's just like the other side. Now it's correct. So this is what I'm going to need to do all the way around. And then underneath, I want to have like stone. Yo, brother. Why are you flying to space? Come on. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Why don't you get into your new home? Hmm? You just stay here. There you go. Okay, good. So I'm going to need to do this quick before all these things are flying off though. So here's the thing. I'm going to need to figure out how I want this. I want to have like an entrance, right? And I want to make use of different type of stones. And I'm just going to see how am I going to kind of do this. Which it should be the middle. I was like, maybe we should be combining some of these stones, right? Make it look a little fancy. Um, let me see. I'm not quite sure if this will fit in though. Um, but I'm also getting another problem. How am I going to do that up there? Right? So maybe only here at the entrance. I'm going to need to make use of what I'm kind of doing here. So this will be one. Then one down here. And of course I can place like a sign on it. Uh, then I need a couple more. And then underneath this. I should just do that. Right. And have a, uh, a doorway. Going in there. From this angle. That could be a thing. Go like that. Go one down. Maybe that could be it. Or maybe I need to close this off. Have another section of certain stones or... You know, it might be handy to actually go to free mode. Uh, another world and, you know, test different combinations to see what will work. 
I mean, it's not too bad if it would fill in this part. I'm only just worried about the side. I just have to see what I'm going to do. Maybe I should make this wall or pillar right down here. Then between in do two more pieces of the inner wall. Then I'll have two pieces of this again. And, you know, one piece. And then from this point, I'm just going to need to see what I'm going to do there. Need to play around with it. I don't think it's going to be too bad. Of course, all dirt ring will be gone. And on top of it, I want to make like this glass dome. Well, we just look at that. A free rope. And I completely forgot about the fact that this dude with his llama sometimes get his llama stuck. And then the rope will break. And then it will be free onto the ground. So I am kind of, you know, building this wall here and I noticed with the other beehives that all the bees are just gone and these two will stay here and I'm lucky with that. I saw another bee flying up there on the mountain. I'm not quite sure if bees will leave after you harvest the honey. Maybe that is a the problem. They will just leave off. Uh, but it seems like these guys are just staying here so i'm lucky with that there are of course some more bees flying so if it really 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 going to be neat then i can get some other bees but these guys i should be able to breed with flowers